Okay folks, welcome back. This is price action model number four, position trading. And this is the ICT mentorship quarterly shifts and seasonal tendencies. Okay, ICT price action model number four, position trading, quarterly shifts and seasonal tendencies. Now for our stage for this model, it's gonna be a quarterly shift or anticipating the effects of a quarterly shift in the majors overlapping with a seasonal tendency. Our setup is going to be a combination of SMT divergence and a commodity traders hedging program. And our pattern is going to be external range liquidity. Okay, the conceptual idea, again, this is what I see internally, how I internalize the setup the market move, the whole process for this model, is we obviously look for an to data range of 20 to 40 or 60 days on the daily chart. The commitment of traders net position on the commercials are going to show a net position over the last six months look back. And on the daily chart, we are looking for an old high to be ran out with a higher high and at the same time, SMT divergence forming. Now this could be a correlated SMT or it could be a USDX SMT divergence. And we're coupling that with now the importance of the seasonal tendency. Now everything for this model obviously you can find in the January 2017 content on long-term position trading. And we're going to be anticipating a monthly candle that would be bearish. Everything is reversed, obviously, for bullish scenarios. I'm throwing this in there. So you can apply it to a seasonal tendency that's bullish. Again, everything here with the seasonal tendency. If the data range of 20, 40, or 60 on the daily chart, targeting a liquidity pool. In this case, we're going to be looking for an old low being taken out. With a lower low being in price. COT hedging program of the commercials are net bullish or net long. In the last six months, we're getting that total range, anticipating a bullish monthly range expansion and an SMT divergence, either USDX or correlated pair. Okay, and again, we're focusing on the monthly range as our primary driver, if you will. Uh, we're going to be looking for buy stop liquidity pool, equal highs on the daily when we're bullish and we're coupling this idea or model with a bullish seasonal tendency with bullish net long positions by the commercials. But on this example, we're focusing on a bearish seasonal tendency. So we're going to be looking at the monthly range seen with the expectation of equal lows on the daily or a sell stop liquidity pool being our objective or PD array. Okay, for this model, we're gonna be using the British pound. Obviously, this is the seasonal tendency. You guys saw this in the January 2017 content, long-term position trading. Now, once you look at this chart, okay, and there is a highly, highly bullish scenario or seasonal tendency to occur in the beginning of March, mid March and running up into the May highs. I'm not electing to use that. We'll come back to that type of seasonal tendency when we go back into position trading for another uh, position trading model. For this one, uh, position trading can be uh, several weeks long to several months. So I want to give you the shorter side of it and we're going to focus on the seasonal tendency in the, the last week or so of April going down into the June lows. You can see that here. Okay, so primarily the month of May is bearish, but the seasonal tendency can kick in a little bit early, as you can see in the seasonal tendency graph here. All right, so we're looking at the British pound. This is the futures contract, and the symbol is B6M18. You can find that on barchart.com. I uploaded the COT commitment traders. Now this is an interactive chart, so you can use that on their feature. And 
I want you to take a look at the standard COT line chart here. The red line, that's going to be the commercials. That's what we're focusing on primarily. The other two, which is small specs and you know, public traders, we're not interested in those. So again, our focus is going to be on now that black line that was red. Okay, And what I'm doing here is my hedging program as taught in the mentorship. And we're looking back six months. Okay, so using the criteria that May is bearish, we go back as late as November to the previous year. So by having that, we'll have an expectation of seeing a bearish scenario the last week or so of April, which is reasonable based on the seasonal tendency because we know the seasonal tendencies are not locked to the actual calendar day. It's a shift of seasonal impact. So again, I like to look at about mid-April to the second week of June. That's the duration I like to have. But you can be a stickler and say, I'm going to only trade like the last week of April with this seasonal tendency, anticipating lower prices. That's fine. But the entire month of May, you want to be expecting lower prices for British pound. You see that the month of April going into May, we have a heavy net short position by the commercials by my COT hedging program application. Again, this is taught in the mentorship. So the seasonal high the last six months and the seasonal low in the last six months is delineated here and notice how perfectly symmetrical the market becomes when you use COT like this okay so what's the logic behind this model the seasonal tendency for the pound sterling is bearish in the month of May so we're going to be looking for a COT hedging program to reflect an excessive net short holding by the commercial traders trading on the anticipation of a quarterly shift in the majors. So when GBP USD or cable runs an old high going into the last week or last week of April going into May, and it's inside a 20, 40, or 60 day if the data range looking back for an old high, and there's this SMT divergence between either the dollar index or a correlated pair like the dollar versus the euro. Okay, in this case it's the euro dollar or fiber as we call it, we're going to be looking to short the open of the last up close candle on a stop. And again, you can find all this in the January content of 2017 position trading. Okay, and now obviously as I mentioned earlier, the monthly range of May, the calendar month, is typically bearish. Okay, so when it's bearish, we are likely to see a strong impulse move lower. Inside that monthly range or candle, there are four weeks or ranges typically, and we're going to be seeking the range inside that monthly range before the candle completes on a new monthly range beginning. That is to say that we want one or more of the four weeks that construct a monthly range to profit. Okay, as you can see here, we have an old high using the, the data ranges. We can find that old high here in the January 2018 period going into uh, a rally up into that old high. If it's broken, all it has to do is trade through it by one pip. If it does that while the criteria, which is that orange shaded area, that's the midpoint of April as I'd like to define it. I am, I'm anticipating some weakness to come into it seasonally. So I want to see a turtle soup type scenario or a run on external range liquidity. But I want to be able to trade this from a long-term position and also teach it to you all so you don't have to use intraday trading concepts. Using the last up close candles open, we can sell on a stop. So all you have to do is look at the previous day and see what the open is. And if we run that previous old high, just look for the last up close candle. Yeah, you all know what that is in terms of a bearish order block. In this case, we're actually going to use the open to sell on a stop. So in our demo account, we'll place a sell stop at that opening price. So if the price ever trades down to that level, it's going to be moving in our direction. We don't need to get up and look at kill zones. We don't need to worry about what the market's doing on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. Eventually, 
the market does make a higher high than that old January high and it does so by forming an SMD divergence against the dollar index. So the dollar was unable to make a lower low as you would expect it to do when the cable makes a higher high. So that's SMT divergence or USDX SMT divergence. And it's occurring right at that seasonal tendency. So now we have the 142.48 short entry. That would be our price to get filled on a stop. Price trades through that, you would be filled short. Your stop goes to the high. And this, would, in this case would be a 130 pip stop. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, whoa, that's way too much. We're trading a long-term position trade. Okay, so we're going to be using the same liquidity-based concepts, looking at old lows as our discount PD array. So using the PD array matrix, using the daily chart, expecting the monthly to be the expansion range. We're going to be looking for these two levels here. And now think about it. This is exactly what I showed live each week calling these levels and all I did was use this model here so price trades down again 130 pips is our stop or risk and targeting our first run to that old low there is five to one using a daily chart so you can see with five to one reward the risk it's still possible and you don't need to be day trading to get it and notice the nice deep decline all through the seasonal tendency that's shaded here and ultimately trading down to eight to one reward the risk and what we do is we look for the discount arrays in this case as I indicated for the last several months that we would be expecting these lows to be taken out that's where Lakota was resting but until we get to the seasonal tendency overlapping with COT and SMT divergence driving that, we can see a heavy distribution cycle coming in or a sell program. And we look for the discount arrays to overlay with the seasonal tendency. So in other words, if there was more time in the seasonal tendency, which I think we're kind of like getting close to the very end of it now, um, we could anticipate it to keep going lower. So you're blending time and price. So in other words, if we would have taken a lot longer in, in terms of time and traded down to 137.12 and say it would be the first week of June at the time, then I would think that would probably be the end of the major move. Okay, But because we had more time in the seasonal tendency, as indicated by that shaded area at the bottom of the chart that's orange, time and price met terminus, which is the sell stops and the length of the seasonal tendency going into June. So if we found this insightful, again, we'll have examples. Uh, you can go back and study the charts. I'm going to give you an opportunity to do so in the forum for this particular model and also for the previous models and the remaining models that would uh, be taught in the 12 models I'm going to give you for the post-mentorship content. And so I'll talk to you next time. I wish you good luck and good trading.